Today we're showcasing all in one SEO. Hey WP beginners. Today we'll cover some of the tutorials that will help you finish strong throughout the year of 2020. And happy December. If you are watching this on the day that it comes out, then that means that it is the still Cyber Monday week. This is the Thursday after Cyber Monday, and I hope you got a good deal in the WordPress realm. And if you're still searching for that perfect deal for your WordPress website, then just know that we put over 150 deals together for WordPress. And these are huge savings. So you can check out the link in the description below to see any of the deals that you might still be looking for. Moving on with our tutorials. So we know that earning money and getting paid is a huge thing for your website. So we put together how to accept recurring payments on your WordPress website. We show you four different methods. This is perfect if you have clients that you send a recurring invoice to, or if you have a membership site, anything like that, this will help with the recurring payments for you. And then if you don't accept payments, but you do accept donations, if you're a nonprofit or if you're simply somebody who you wanted to set something up on your site to get a donation, we walk you through how to add a PayPal donate button on your WordPress website. And if one of the deals that you got was maybe a Bluehost account with e-commerce or WooCommerce setup, we show you how to add sample data in your WooCommerce store. This is perfect if you want to see how your website will look with products, but you're not quite ready to add your own products yet, then take a look at this tutorial. We did this tutorial and I did a video so you can watch that on how to set that up real quick. Getting deeper into the business side of things, we also have a tutorial on how to connect Salesforce to your WordPress forms. This is perfect if you have a form on your website and you want to connect that form to your CRM system, the Salesforce CRM system. We show you how you can do that quickly and easily. Or maybe you just want to do a quick request a quote form. We set you up with a step-by-step -step process on getting a quick quote form in request a quote form in WordPress. This is perfect if you're doing client work and you simply want to know a little bit more information from your prospective client before you give them a quote. This will work for you. Ooh, and if speed is a big deal for your site, don't worry, we got you. We show you how to enable gzip compression in WordPress. I'm going to show you three different ways. Gzip compression is just this technology that reduces and compresses data files before they get sent to the user's browser, which helps speed up your website. And if you want to set up a mobile pop up on your website, but you haven't done it yet because it's difficult and a lot of times people They'll set up a mobile and they the people can't get off of the pop-up because it's too large for the mobile. We've got you covered. You can safely set one up. We show you how you can do it that will convert and it will also won't hurt your SEO. So you want to check out that tutorial here. And if you live and breathe in your post area so that you're creating that content that you know you need to to attract the clients and attract the customers to your site and attract readers to your site then you want to figure out a way to rearrange your post edit screen in WordPress. Did you know that there are a lot of different ways that you can move things around to really maximize your workflow? We'll show you how you can do that in this article. And if you've done a lot of affiliate links on your site, this is perfect for you. We show you how to add the nofollow links in WordPress and we'll do a simple guide for beginners as well as non-beginners. If you just need a refresher course for how to do that. We've got you covered here. If integrating social media for your website is a big deal, we show you how to embed actual tweets in your WordPress blog posts. So you can check that out to increase your social engagement on your site. And now I have a question for you. What was your favorite WordPress deal that you got for Black Friday? And thanks for watching.